Berlin is the most interesting city in Germany. And this attracts artists from all disciplines all over the world to come here. I describe Claudia as the yogi. She is the one that can really dive into a question for days and forget about everything around her. MacGyver? Yeah, yeah absolutely MacGyver. <laughs> yeah. He can throw old rules overboard, discovering something new. Her nickname would be the Style Police. She has the last say whether it's okay to go out to the client or not. He says about himself and is proud of really giving everything unbiased, fresh look. And his second nature is being our master of geometry. Herman Miller was something like the blueprint of the ideal client. Therefore, we almost knew Herman Miller before we actually met them. Their development is design-driven and research-based. I don't know any other company that would de define it that way. If you have a dedicated work chair that's your own, you can adjust that to your needs. But in most of the spaces you end up working, there's not something like a dedicated work chair anymore. Now with all the mobile technology, we can make ourselves total independent from where we actually work. You find yourself working in a cafe or on an airport or in a project or team space. In all these cases, a chair with a lot of adjustments doesn't work. The need for this kind of chair was clearly out there. So everything started 2003. I think the quest was always to make it as simple as possible. Simple for a chair means that it's just one continuous contour. We tried to start with a clean slate and then find the form through the constraints. There's almost no area where I cannot give you a reason why the shape is like this and it needs to be this way. We tried to close the whole circle of what you call development. So prototyping, for example, we do that all in-house here. I would think, uh, as you see here, we built like 35 fully functional prototypes before we showed the concept to Herman Miller. To check something out aesthetically, visually, the only way is comparison, direct comparison. You don't get the feedback uh, from the computer. If a chair is uncomfortable, everybody, expert or not, can immediately tell you this is just not comfy. This is a really a functional prototype. The tricky thing was how to make this part here and the synchronization between seat and back out of one part. This is um, one of the very first beams we milled here in our office. And as you see, there are no spokes in here. The seat portion and the back portion is continuous part but it doesn't communicate with this one. This was the first kinematic chain that we built really quick and dirty. This is a very early breadboard model of the kinematic beam. When I move this, you can see that while this is moving quite a lot, this is moving very little. And it, you can also see that it works in both ways. This is like one of the first all out of one material. This area here you call a living hinge where um, it has no true pivot point, but it acts like an axis. This is the very last one we built here in our shop before presenting the whole concept of this technology to Herman Miller. We wanted materials that can be bare, like uncovered, uncoated. The only aluminum that can be used like this is called H alloy. That is a material that is only used in cars so far. In the first prototype tool, we tested all kinds of material combinations. The nice thing about an ordinary plastic like polypropylene is not only that it's very economically, it's also very, very uh, reliable over time and it really, really recycles good. The environmental aspect is inherent. We don't discuss it anymore. It's part of our job to only design products that don't use up too much energy, don't use up too much material. We really tried hard to shave it down to the absolute minimum. The beam is the heart of the chair. It is very unique. It's the only one of its kind. Before this, seat and back for all kinematic chairs had to be separated. There had to be a hinge in between them. It basically reacts to the weight of the user. My weight is actually controlling the bending resistance 
of this beam. The fabric, since it is so pliable, is the contouring part. It has just one single control for up and down. There is a very high amount of ergonomic knowledge built into that chair, but you would maybe not notice. We can dial into our kinematic beam every performance that you need for a certain application. Hospitality, airport, in lounges, education, in your home office. You ain't seen nothing yet. Berlin is the most interesting city in Germany. And this attracts artists from all disciplines all over the world to come here. I describe Claudia as the yogi. She is the one that can really dive into a question for days and forget about everything around her. MacGyver? Yeah, yeah absolutely MacGyver. <laughs> yeah. He can throw old rules overboard discovering something new.